Assalamu alaikum students. Now we are going to start unit 3 of Oxford Progressive English class 5. Open your books at page 14. The topic is the show. At the top you can see the question but I will give you answer at the end of the reading. Now I am going to read the text. It is a dialogue and conversation between mother and Imran. Mother, mommy. What have you bought, Imran? Imran, I have just bought a new joystick for my computer. Look. Mommy, hang on. Hang on means do it. Hang on a moment. The box is torn. Have you noticed? Imran, oh no, I think it is damaged. Damaged means defective. Mommy, why don't you see it? Uh, um, why don't you see if it works? Imran, I can't move the joystick. Mommy, did you try it in the shop? Imran, not this one, but another like it. I can hardly move this one. Look, it is damaged and the bottom corner is bent. I have just spent the last of my birthday money and now it is all gone. Mommy, don't worry. Have you got the receipt? Imran, I think so, Mommy. It wasn't labeled damaged goods in the shop, was it? Imran, not. It was only labeled reduced. Mummy, I expect. Expect means to believe. I expect it was damaged in the factory and then it was packed. If I were you, I would take it back to the shop. They will exchange it or give you your money back. Really? Mummy, of course. They have to do that. I will come with you if you like. Imran, will you? That would be great. So, the conversation tells that Imran has bought... Um, joystick for the computer and it was damaged when he came home he came to know that it wasn't working the mother said that um, if he has checked it in the shop uh, Imran say, says that um, he has checked in other one but um, it wasn't the same um, and it was also damaged at the corner and the mother says that uh, perhaps it was damaged in the factory and uh, then it was packed and she says that if she would have been at the place of the boy she would definitely go to the shop so she will get the other one and she says that if the boy wants her to be with her, uh, with him she would definitely go to the shop and get him a new one okay next page here we have got some pictures you have to describe them like uh, the first one the bike uh, has a flat tire in the next one um, we can say um, it is also mentioned third one uh, we can say that uh, someone has broken my window and the next one I have uh, torn my shirt and the fifth one some we have got some chipped um, CDs so uh, in this way you can describe the pictures in your own sentences and uh, next one question three the quiz and circle your answers if you have found a large spider in the bathroom would you here we are given some choices you have to tell if you ever find a spider in the bathroom what would you would you like to do try to catch or kill it or scream it is your um, choice whatever you say uh, i have a circle the second one similarly if you had a um, school book with answers written on it would you uh, if you got a school book uh, which has um, answers but you would like you would like to ignore the answers copy the answers or tell your teacher I have circled the third one similarly you can do the rest of the exercise it is just a quiz move on to next page okay it is third one lesson three the show Again, we have question at the top, but um, at the end of the lesson, I will definitely give you the answers of all three questions. We're going to start with the text. William and his best friend Henry, who was 12, were members of the Society of Outlaws. Outlaws means criminals. A school boy gang gang is a group of the people. The outlaws used to meet in the old barn and on half holidays or Sunday afternoons and make plans. Barn means a place which, which is used for stocking grains. Let us buy some balls and arrows, suggested William. Then we can go out and shoot things like birds and chickens, just like here outlaws. There are we where are we going to get these bows and arrows? asked Henry. We haven't got enough money to buy them. They are too expensive expensive means costly for us 
Then we need to collect some more money, said William, who usually had right ideas. Wait, I know. We could do a show, get some animals and charge our friends money for looking at them, like at the zoo. The others nodded. Nodded means moving the head. Well then, he continued, we'll have a show and get enough money to buy bows and arrows. We will arrange a show for the next Sunday afternoon. It is story of the boys, uh, Henry and the William. Uh, they had a group of friends. They were actually anxious to buy bows and arrows so they uh, so they can easily shoot the birds, but they don't have money. So they got an idea that how to collect the money. They thought that they will arrange a show, and uh, in this way they can collect the money from their friends by showing them the animals. Well, um, William returned home for tea with his parents and Aunt Emily. Aunt Emily was a tall lady who had been re recovering from a slight cold for about two years. She spent her days eating and sleeping. She had not yet mentioned a date for her leaving, which made Valian's father anxious. Anxious means worried. It will be a long, long time before I better, said Aunt Emily as she took a Seventh piece of bread and butter and another piece of cake, please, William. Then I go upstairs and have a rest. Every Sunday afternoon, William's mother visited a friend and his father took a long afternoon nap. Nap means short sleep. When Sunday came, William quietly asked his mother whether he could have a few friends in his room for the afternoon. She agreed. The outlaws had prepared all the exhibits. Exhibits means the objects of display for the show and um, by 2.30 all was ready. For each exhibit William had written a card with all the facts upon it. Now they have decided to um, have a kind of exhibition on Sunday afternoon because uh, on Sundays mother will not be at home and the father will have been a nap. And what they, was going to they were going to show, it was there was a large white rat painted in blue and pink stripes. And there was a cat shut in a cat basket, which it was scratching angrily with its claws. There was a tall giant, one outlaw on the back of another, their large combined body wrapped in a large sheet. There was a black fox fur, which had belonged to William's grandmother. It was laid on the floor as though it was asleep. There was Henry's small pet dog. Henry had painted it blue. William was the showman. He had dressed in red dressing gown and of his father and had made himself a small red mustache from the edge, edges of an old rug. Rug means carpet. The children climbed on to the garden wall. Crawl, crawling means moving on the heads and knees. Uh, crawled along it, climbed through the window of William's bedroom and paid their entrance fees. So uh, this was the way. Uh, so they decided to enter the room where the all the exhibits were present. When they were all seated, William proudly presented the exhibits one by one. This is the only blue and blue and pink rat rat in the whole wide world. It lives in China and was brought over especially for the show. And this is the wild cat holding up the basket with the cat in. It, which was hissing and spitting. Look at this wild cat, the fiercest cat in the whole country. After William had introduced all the exhibits, a large deep roar, roar means a loud sound, started coming from the next room. It sounded like a mighty wind with some low deep thunder. Aunt Emily was having her afternoon sleep and was snoring. Snoring means breath sound when you, when you are sleeping. As the audience seemed very interested in Aunt Emily's snoring, William had another bright idea. If they are listening, they should be paying. But why just listen? Maybe they could pay extra in order to visit the snorer next door. So it came into the mind of William that um, as the boys were um, showing interest in the snoring of the um, uh, Aunt Emily, then he thought that he must get some money from the exhibition of Aunt Emily's things. William went quietly into the Aunt Emily's bedroom. On the bedside table, he saw her comb. 
a hair piece that was she that she usually tied in her own hair and a glass containing her false teeth william came back and qu quickly wrote notices for these objects the wild woman's hair piece and the wild woman's teeth he wrote an other notice for aunt md too the snorer immediately became the most popular exhibit of the afternoon children came out of the room and rejoined the back of the queue paying extra money for the uh, money to revisit uh, the snorer suddenly in the middle of all this art emily awoke with a start so in this way uh, he decided to get more money by showing the belongings of uh, aunt emily and uh, during uh, when all the uh, show was going on aunt emily woke up and what happened we will read in the next part of the story but we will come to the second question now we will do question two so prepare your copies like this you have to mention date the unit number lesson number and the page number 17 correct the false statements with information from the text number one statement is william wanted to collect money so that they could go to the zoo the um, correct uh, form is william wanted to collect money so that they could buy some bows and arrows aunt emily second one aunt emily had been very ill two years ago aunt emily had been recovering from a slight cold for about two years third and fourth statement is correct we are doing the fifth one the children came for the show and knocked on the front door of william's house the correct statement is the children came for the show and climbed on the garden wall crawled along it and climbed through window of william's bedroom Sixth one, William wrote the notices for Aunt Emily's after the show has started. William wrote the notices for the objects of Aunt Emily after the show has started. Now move to question three. Complete the sentences with words or phrases from the text. We have to fill up the blanks uh, with the words we, which we have read in the text. A group of the school boys who play together is called a gang. You can shoot white animals if you have a bow and some arrows. When you make somebody pay for a um, camel ride, you charge that person some money. Fourth one, the opposite of bad cold is a slight cold. A short sleep during the daytime is called a nap. If you pay to go into the museum, you pay an exhibition fee. If a cat is angry, it scratches you on the hand. A person who is snoring makes a loud noise while asleep. And the ninth one, people who don't have their own teeth put false teeth in their mouth instead. Okay, now turn the page. Come to page 19. We have to read the second part of the story. Okay. When Aunt Emily woke up, she thought at first that the group of small boys around her was a dream. That she sat up and um, see the things on the uh, beside table, the notices, and finally William dressed as the showman. She sprang out of the bed and seized William. Seized means to take hold of sprang out means to jump out mm, william by the shoulders you wicked boy wicked means bad she cried as she shook him william escaped and ran into the next room it was empty except for henry the last of the out audience had escaped and were crawling along the top of the garden wall william said to henry she has just woken up and she is furious furious means angry now in this paragraph we have read that uh, Aunt Emily has um, woke up and uh, she was quite angry. She was uh, very unhappy with the boys because uh, they were sh uh, showing her as an object. And uh, Aunt Emily was moving noisily around in her room. Let's count the money, said Henry. They counted four pounds and fifty pence. That's pretty good, said William. Uh, without Aunt Emily, we were only going to make about two pounds so far. The boys were actually very happy that they have aunt, um, uh, a lot of money just because of Aunt Emily. Suddenly, Aunt Emily's door opened and the boys could hear her heavy steps coming down the stairs. William shivered. Shiver means tremble. 
what um, what would his father say william's mother had returned from her visit as aunt emily wearing her coat and hat and carrying her bag arrived at the bottom of the stairs william's father had just woken up from his nap and had come into the hall aunt emily st- uh, stared at him stared means um, looking closely please ring for the taxi or uh, yeah ring for the taxi at once i refuse to remain in this house a moment longer she then told william's parents how she had been on show mother said sorry and the father went to phone for the taxi when the um, when aunt emily showed uh, about the behavior of the boy mother said sorry and the father went um, for calling the taxi a c- crowd of dirty little boys and those notices and me in the poor state of health too if this had not happened i might have stayed with you all the winter and perhaps part of the spring father wiped his forehead mother said sorry again and aunt emily went off in her taxi william father shot it up the stairs william went down stairs still in that dressing gown with half a mustache on his face is it true what your aunt said william looked into his eyes and suddenly became hopeful father was not a good actor yes he said that was very wrong said father that's all something small and hard was put in william's hand as he stared started to run back upstairs that didn't take long said henry surprised when william entered the bedroom william opened his hand and showed henry what his father had put into his hand look it was a shiny 1 pound coin so in this way aunt emily left their home actually at the end uh william got one more pound because uh, apparently father was showing uh, unhappiness uh, that um, william has not done good to aunt emily but um, from the deep heart he was happy because uh, he also wanted to get rid of aunt emily so the lesson is done now i will give you question ans- answers of the question again come to page uh, 14 at the top a question was given what did imran buy and what is he going to do with it the, you have to prepare the page first like this you have to mention date unit number lesson number and then also uh, mention the page and the question is what did imran buy and what is he going to do with it the answer is imran bought a joystick for his computer it was damaged he is going to exchange it for a good one Okay. move to next page there at the um, page number 16 we have got two questions how did william and his friends plan to collect money again i have prepared the page and you have to mention the page number as well and the ans- uh, question is how did william and his friend plan to collect money William and his friends plan to collect money through a show. And the second part of the question: Were they successful? Yes. Were they successful? The answer is they were successful in it. Then again, I am giving you the questions which are present on the top of page nineteen. What happened when Aunt Emily woke up? The answer is she complained to William's parents. She called for a taxi and went off. In the next one, do you think William's father was angry with him? Why, and why not? We have to tell whether he was angry or not, and why. Apparently, William's father was angry with him, but at heart he was happy to get rid of Aunt Emily. Okay, students, the um, lesson is done. Thank you.